Hey everybody, welcome back to Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. This week's been a really busy week. Actually, not always busy. It's been um, different from last week. I went and spent a few days in the desert just relaxing. And then I moved on to Tucson where I spent some time with friends, some people that I knew and some people that I didn't know that I became new friends with. Uh, then I came back, headed back to quartzite with a mishap along the way which you will find out about in the video or you will know because of the title of the video what happened anyways come along and watch so my first stop this week was in aho which is spelt a-j-o and it's um just north of the mexico border and it's probably central arizona i spent a few days there all by myself just um, enjoying some peace and quiet. I felt like I needed some time alone after being with people so much and I really enjoyed it. So this is what happened on arrival. All right, I just arrived in Ajo, Arizona. I had planned to camp on BLM land just like I had in Quartzsite. The difference is, is Quartzsite is super popular and people are aware of it and everything has signs and there's even camp managers, but here in Ajo, it's a little bit different. And just because it's different, I'm a little bit nervous. So I pulled in here. I found a spot. The only spot I could find was uh, right on the road. So I'm backed into a spot. Uh, so my back, the back of my van is sort of towards the desert a little bit. Um but my van is very visible from the road, which is okay. But when I was, I have to get out of my driver's seat and get into the back of the van. So I have to leave the van to get back into the back of the van. And so uh, I was nervous about that because I'm in a wheelchair. I'm a woman. I have two points of perceived vulnerability um, for people that are driving by and uh, so I didn't want anybody to see me and it takes time for me to get out of the driver's seat and it takes time for me to get into the back. So uh, I got out of the driver's seat and I heard a car coming. So I wheeled around to the back of my van really quick and I waited for the van. And as it drove by my van, I moved from one side to the other so that it couldn't see where I was. So I've heard of other van lifers say that they're really nervous on their first night. I wasn't really nervous on my first night of sleeping in my van. Tonight, I'm a little bit nervous, and I know that I'm in a very safe area. I just feel like I want to take it easy and make sure that I really am safe. Uh, so I got into the back of my van. I put all my window covers up, and I made extra special care that there was no cracks in them. So here's me being paranoid, but you know what? I just, I think this is what I have to do for my first night camping in a situation like this that is new to me. I'm 95% sure that it's safe, as safe as any place can be. So I'm just going to go with it and I'm going to enjoy my evening, but I'm going to enjoy it inside the van. So there you go. So I wasn't going to mention this. That's why it's not in the, in the previous clip, but, uh, one of the reasons I was nervous when I pulled into that campsite is because of this sign. Uh, what would you have done or how would you have felt? <laughs> well, I've been camping around people for the last week and a half and now I feel like I'm completely on my own and I love it. There are campers around here, so don't worry, I'm safe. I'm still sitting in my van and this is my view. I just wanted to quickly insert a photo in here because this is what I did in Tucson. I spent some time with some friends there. Uh, the two on the right are old friends 
And the two on the left are people that I probably should have known. They're both from the area that I'm from in the North Okanagan. Uh, the thing that's interesting about it is it's two 89-year-old women that are actual identical twins. And I just super enjoyed my visit with them. Um, nice to meet you, Madeline and Martha. Well, I had to delete the audio from this part of this clip of the video. It was really bad, that, and I couldn't figure out how to reduce the noise of the vehicle while I was talking. So you could hardly hear what I was saying. So I just wanted to sort of uh, say again what I had been talking about, and that was that I was just coming into Quartzsite. I think I was about 10 miles out, or probably a little bit more than that. And I was talking about... Um, how I had to start thinking about what I needed um, to do before I, before or once I parked the van. Um, when you're able-bodied, you just get there and you do everything you need to do, but when you have a disability, you have to think ahead. Okay, everything in the front of my van is not accessible to me when I'm in the back, so I need to make sure that everything that I need from the front is in the back and if I need to get anything out of the back and put it in the front I have to um, know what that is because it just saves me a lot of transferring in and out of my wheelchair and in and out of the car which is an effort and also a potential skin issue for pressure sores if I hurt myself and I have to remember that I have to take all the or put all the blinds up in the front because I can't do that once I've um, got out of the driver's seat so was just talking about some of those things about how you really as a person who's in a wheelchair have to think ahead about things and and plan for things maybe more so than an able-bodied person might have to do anyways just some thoughts about van life as a person with a disability I had a bit of a scare tonight. I was coming from Tucson to Quartzsite, and I was about 10 miles out of Quartzsite, and I was following this car, and he must have run over it too, but there was, all of a sudden, there was this tire in front of me. It looked like a big transport truck tire, and I think it was only just the rubber, but it looked like the full tire, and I slammed on the brakes, and I went right over top of it. I skidded into the center meridian thing it was all dirt and it was a bit of a a bank going down in there and i was worried that i was going to roll over and i so i skidded turned the wheels to keep me from rolling over but just kept sliding into the ditch so it scared me pretty good i'm okay the van's okay it was a bit of a mess when i got pulled over and I drove into town, um, pulled over in a gas station, had a look, and my front bumper's all wrecked. And uh, on the way out to the campsite, it started to drag on the ground too. So I know I can't drive back to Canada like that. So I have to deal with it down here or at least get somebody to I don't know, pull it off, or I don't know. But anyways, so grateful that it wasn't worse. Thank you, God, for that. And uh, anyways, I don't know what else to say. So that's it for this week. If you liked this video, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and to like it. It really helps me out. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.